Okay, I'm gonna do something really stupid, even more stupid than what this video is about. Um, I'm going to not use a script for this video and just do it from my memory. And if it fails and it makes no sense, let me know in the comments and I'll do it again with the script. But I think the only person who will watch this is my best friend. So, hi, Allie. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> so I'm going to tell the story of me and my twin sister, which is... I don't have a twin sister. I'm not cool. <laughs> I wish I was cool, but I don't. I, I don't have a twin sister. So just get that out there first. Do not have a twin sister. No twin sister. This is fiction. This is what I made up kind of so I can play a game and, you know, it just to keep me busy whenever I'm bored. So... Okay, so my twin's name is Genevieve. We were born in 2003, January 21st, and we were immediately put up for adoption. I was adopted by my family, who at the time had nine kids, and they adopted another one. Doesn't make sense. Why would they adopt another kid? <laughs> but anyway, and now I have 11 kids because I have a younger brother. And my twin sister Genevieve was adopted by like a I think I said 26 year old woman who wanted to have kids but didn't have a husband and you know is seemed she had enough money to adopt a child so she did so she adopt she adopted Genevieve and then okay so when I was 12 years old, this is all fiction, I'm saying it like it actually happened, did not happen. Anyway, when I was 12 years old, I started looking at old baby pictures and old, like, adoption records because I knew that I was adopted, so this was just something I would like to, that I like to do. And this actually seems realistic because I love looking at baby pictures and stuff like that, so it seems like something I would actually like to do. And anyway, I saw another child and figured out that I had a twin sister. And then I had to find my twin sister because obviously I wanted to meet her. And it took a long time, but I finally met her and we met each other when we were 13. So it took like like a year, six months to a year, something like that. And Genevieve, because she's like kind of the person that I've always wanted to be, she was just cast in a movie called Better Together, which is a movie I made up. I'm not, like, going to put her in any movies that you've heard of. Anyway, it's a cool movie. Maybe I'll tell you about it later. It started as a dollhouse game, and then I was like, ooh, I want this to be a movie. So, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. Whatever. Um, so, this whole video is embarrassing. <laughs> now that I think about it. But, you know, who cares? Um... So, my twin sister, yeah, she was cast in a movie, then we met each other, and my twin sister is also, since she's the person that I always wanted to be, is dating Josh Boker, which, if you don't know who he is, he's someone from backstage, um, which you probably don't know what that is either. Anyway, he's handsome, and yeah, so I have, I used to have a celebrity crush on him, now I don't, not as big as I used to because backstage was canceled as far as I know and I decided instead of being really annoyed by it I'm just going to it's dead to me that's basically what I'm saying <laughs> so yeah so I still you know I still listen to Josh Bogart's music you should listen to his music too it's like it's all appropriate and it's good music and very catchy so um, I kind of, I guess that's really it. It seems like there should be more to the story, but I was trying to go through it because I thought it was really long, and now this is only, like, a five-minute video. Oh, well. So, anyway, I'm going to go into it, like, with more depth, and I might, like, tell you about Genevieve's movies, um, because she has been in one, been in one, um, 
she is, she's been in Better Together, and then after that she made an album, and I didn't write music for the, for the album. I just said the Bridget Mendler's um, Ready or Not. Wait, no, that's not what it's called. It's called Hello, My Name Is. Anyway, that album was Genevieve's. Oh, I forgot to mention the most important part. Genevieve was adopted by someone in England. So she's American, but she has a British accent just to make it more fun for me to play. And also so you can tell us apart. Not that there's more than one of us. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so, um, now I don't remember what I was talking about. So, oh, her, then after her album, she is in a TV show called Living Like a Fairy Tale, which is kind of just follows all the fairy tale characters that you know, like, in their lives. It's not exactly like Once Upon a Time, but it basically is. And she plays Jack from Jack and the Beanstalk, so that's another way that it's like Once Upon a Time that I made Jack a girl. But anyway, it's a really cool part. And she uses an American accent for it. And for better together. And anyway. So yeah, she can sing just like me. <laughs> it's just That sounds a little prideful, but I can sing. Um, so anyway, I'm going to end the video now. So now it's a seven minute video. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, share. Even if it's just to make fun of my videos, feel free to share. It gives me more views either way. <laughs> so, and even if it's a mean comment, I won't care as long as long as it's an appropriate comment. <laughs> if it has foul language, I will take it off. I think I have the power to do that. If 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 I'm allowed to do that, I think I think I can. Anyway, um, bye.